In today's video, fire. Just so much fire. Guys, there's fire. We've got fire. It's a ball of fire. Yes. What's up? Not too long ago. What? What's up? What's up? Sticking with it. What's up? Not too long ago, we took 250 storm-proof matches, glued them together, and then Callie dropped it into a fish tank full of water. What really stood out to me was not the waterproofness, but it was that when they all started lighting, it didn't just like light. It like had a jet flame it felt shooting like off of it. A like, rocket fuse. I think it had thrust. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that seemed really cool. So you may have seen those videos where people like take matches and glue them together and make a ball out of it and light them and it looks cool. We wanted to try something similar, but with more energetic matches. So we've got more. We have a lot. We have 900 here and we are gonna do a couple experiments before we start putting them on the ball. Here's the basic idea. We recently learned how energetic a pack of stormproof matches all lighting at once can be. So we wanted to scale that up and we've got about a thousand of them that we're going to stick into a styrofoam ball and light on fire. We're gonna have hundreds nearing a thousand matches yes. on this styrofoam ball. Um, I do want to say, so when we were doing this last time, we were using slightly larger matches. Mm -hmm. They were about twice the size, but a handful of 250 was about this big. We still have the little brick out there of scorched matches. We're going to see how many we can get on here. I'm not sure if we can get the full 900, so there will be some experiments beforehand, like Nate was saying. My thought for this is, I, like, we we're talking about the styrofoam ball. That's going to be fantastic. This isn't floral foam necessarily, and so floral foam, you can stick stuff in all day, pull it out, reposition it, and it works almost like clay. This stuff tends to fall apart a little bit easier, so just in case these aren't sticking very well, I'm gonna start gluing them to each other with hot glue. We'll see what it takes. It's gonna be pretty great. We're gonna try another experiment people wanted to see. We've got one of our stormproof matches. When it was burning underwater, someone pointed out it has its own oxidizer, so does that mean it can burn in a vacuum? So we're going to try to put this match in a vacuum and light it with our laser. Um, I'm actually just gonna try lighting it with the laser first and see if it lights with air in there. And then I'll try pulling a vacuum and see if it lights. And goes, yes, it lit. Nice. Okay, at this point it was it's lit puffing. before. There's there's some smoke. It's puffing at you, yeah. Very. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's ignited as much as it wants to ignite. But look at it. It is traveling. Yeah, down. it's burning. It's, it is. It's oxidizing. burning. It's quite similar to how it burns when it's underwater. You don't see flames, but slower. but it's traveling. Neat. So now we got a jar of smoke. You do. That is a much larger jar of pet smoke than the one I had before. <laughs> well, there goes a lot of it. That was a lot more than I thought. So it's, it's all still in there. It just yeah. got compressed a little bit more. Let's keep fact, compressing fact, we, it. Yeah, we can compress it all the way down until it's fully back to regular pressure. This lid won't come off. So we're just adding more air in with the smoke. Got a nice smoke ring So spot. much more peaceful than I thought. Also, it smells like mayonnaise. It does burn in a vacuum, although there's no flame in a vacuum. But it, it is burning. It's very similar to when the match is underwater. It does burn, but it burns differently. Guys, don't burn stormproof matches in a vacuum if you like your nose. Here is what remains of one of the stormproof matches just burned normally. And here is what happens when you burn it in a vacuum. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It goes white. So a bit more energy. Just a little. That was 10 matches, guys. We're doing roughly 90 times that. I say roughly because we are playing with these as we go, like the 10 we just lit off. We're currently down 12, but yeah. we still have almost 900. And now we're going to fill this styrofoam ball with a lot of matches. You know how normally I don't like the game of, let's see how many boxes of things we can open up? Today it's just fine. This is great. There's nothing wrong here. Time lapse. All 
All right, so we've got this official ball supporting stick, which may or may not be a blowgun. And yeah, I think we can just start sticking matches. Is there no system to organization here? None. Ha ha! As we go, we're just going to have to fit them in closer and closer together, I think. I love it. Can you imagine if during this we accidentally just hit one against the other two hard and just lit the studio on fire? Fire extinguishers there and there. Cool, just making sure we Door. Need door. I'm going to go for door. I don't think we could put it out while the matches are still flaring no matter what we do. Oh no. I'm not sure anything would put them out while they're still like flaring because they have their own oxidizer in them. You know the picture of the tiny little field mouse on the dandelion? E, sort of. It's the devil's dandelion. I'm so happy right now. Look at it. It's actually, okay, but it's actually pretty. Like, that's like an art installation. Like, you'd see that at Ikea and be like, yeah, no, that tracks. We did a decent job of spacing the matches pretty well. It looked enough like a flower that I think it needed this addition. It did, it did need, it did. I, no, I agree, this was a good plan. All right, there is our very exciting dandelion. And now we're gonna go try dandelion. and prop this up over a fire pit and light it off. Uh, before we do that, I need a full on photo shoot with this, Mark. All right, photo shoot's complete. Nate is being a ninja on the wall. Everyone good? Best day of my life, here we go. Yeah, wherever the fuse is sticking out on the bottom. Yeah, it's right there, see it? Okay. Okay. Three, two. I'm so happy! Dandelion from hell was a success! That worked pretty great. Now we just have a melting ball of styrofoam. I'm not mad about it. You know you normally light baby, like well not baby, normally you'd light dandelions on fire. Or maybe not normally, maybe that's just a me normally thing. You can light dandelions on fire. It's cute. You know, a little fireball for a second. This was so much better. This was super fun. We would be interested in scaling this up. If you guys would be interested in scaling us up too, let us know. Here's kind of the deal we're gonna make. If this video gets to three million views, then we'll do this Bigger, not just like a little bigger. We'll go like 10 times bigger. 10 times as many matches. So this was like a thousand. We'll do like 10,000 matches and a much larger ball. But we gotta know that people are gonna be interested in watching it. So again, if this video gets like 3 million views, so like it, share it with people. Um, and guys, a lot of people who watch our videos aren't subscribed. We do stuff like this all the time. So if you like watching things like this, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell. That's it for today, but you know we've always got more for you to see. Click the box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.